The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another exciting edition of the Power Trading Hour with me. And it doesn't matter where me or you is, as long as we know the one thing that really truly matters, that you're here at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So, what do we have going on today? Well... I wasn't looking for much of uh, movement until uh, tomorrow and maybe even Thursday. We'll get into that. Uh, but uh, certainly one day before uh, going into uh, – uh, did I do that? Okay. I think I did do something. Here, give me just a second here because I – Wanted to bring something else up, so I need to get it started. Okay. And we'll do that by doing that. And we'll hide that. Okay, now we're back to it. Um, okay. Come on. Oh, there it goes. Okay, come on. Go away. Let's do this. Uh, I wanted to get into a few things. I'm not going to do these in any particular order. But uh, first of all is CPI is on Thursday. I think there's a, a bit of uh, consternation around that number coming out. Um, some of the other things that are going on that uh, I wrote about in the newsletter this morning was uh, uh, which is Facebook. Um, they've been kind of down a little earlier in the day. Uh, not very often that you see a company decide to uh, take uh, uh, some poison. Um, and it's very interesting to me that Facebook would double down on being stupid. Uh, I said they drank the Kool-Aid this morning, which is probably an apt way to discuss this. They gapped down on a lot um, when they did last week. We talked about them actually having a bigger problem with the... Uh, privacy issues in in uh, Europe, and of course uh, they're going to get kicked out. So what do they do last night? Say that uh, well, we're just going to have to leave. And everybody that loves our product uh, that uses it in Europe, you should call up uh, your elected officials and give them a hard time because we're violating the law, and they are. Uh, but it's rare that you find a company take on uh, governments that have both armies and prisons uh, since they so blatantly violate the law uh, over there about what data they can keep and what they can't keep. It's kind of amazing that they try to go stick their thumb in somebody's eye. Uh, my thoughts today were that this could blow out the bottom of Facebook uh, and take the rest of the market with it. Oh, maybe over the next couple of days. Certainly lower, got to 218.11 for the low so far today. But uh, keep an eye on that because uh, this is one where I think you're pretty much right here at the level where if this thing goes a little farther, uh, it could just snap. And the next move would be down to probably about 180. But uh, keep a close eye on that. It's big enough in the indexes that it makes a difference. Uh, and... Basically, when you get CEOs acting incredibly stupidly uh, and poking the bear, yeah, it smacks of them believing their own press, which is something you should never do. Other things going on also is uh, in the Bitcoin, we've got a new ETF that actually uh, is that. Uh, the symbol on it is, oh, let me get this back. I'm going to organize stuff a little bit better here. Where is that at? There it is. Uh, why is that not showing? There it is. Okay. Uh, WGMI. And 
Valkyrie Bitcoin miners. And the only reason I really like this is I've always thought that it, it has been one kind of sham after another uh, in Bitcoin. But I do think now at least we have a way, uh, even if it's just inner day uh, or larger, to go short Bitcoin and long. And long. Um, but uh, I thought it was kind of interesting. The uh, weasel, I don't, wouldn't call it a, C, uh, a CEO because it is a ETF with a fund manager saying something that uh, was uh, not wrong, but kind of silly in that, you know, uh, 80% of all the electricity used in these ETFs uh, come from renewable energy. Well, they did two years ago and they did four years ago. And that's because the only way it makes any sense to turn electricity into bitcoins and make money is if your electricity is uh, cheap. You generally don't go to the most expensive place in the world that, uh, for electricity, like running it off a, a diesel generator and still expect to make money. You go where it's cheap. And that's the Nordic countries, uh, places that are north where you don't have to pay for uh uh, cooling, because that's quite a problem. All these things do uh, is uh, turn things into heat and to watch your uh, electric bill go sky high. So they're next to, uh, generally next to dams and stuff in Nordic countries or up to a dam uh, or close to a dam up uh, in Canada or somewhere where the cost of electricity is very low. So not surprisingly, uh, they're selling it as a virtue signaling device. I don't think uh, that makes a lot of sense since they were doing that for economic reasons long before this gal ever came along. But, uh, yeah, if you want to short it, WGMI, the Valkyrie Bitcoin Miners Fund, I wouldn't do it right away, but I'm going to say is maybe they get to someplace out there a little bit over the tips of their skis again. Um, you could buy it if you want to go long. But probably a bigger issue out here, uh, and this is Bitcoin miners, by the way, not uh, Bitcoin itself. So if this goes kind of over the tips of the skis, as many of these other, um, uh, I'm going to say built on sand kind of things uh, do go, uh, where you can wake up one morning and find out all the people that you're investing in this one uh, have just been uh, excommunicated by the governments where they live or where they at least operate. Uh, you know, we saw China uh, with a swipe of a pin run all of its Bitcoin miners out. This could be something the same way. So I'm more of a fan of maybe shorting this uh, at opportune times than others, but there hadn't been a good way of really shorting Bitcoin. Uh, this is the miners, WGMI. It's supposed to be a ha 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 thing. We're going to make it, if you want to try to remember it. But uh, just a thought. Uh, okay, now what else do we have here? So that's kind of it. As we uh, look at the indexes, so we go into the first break. We're up 33 on the S&P cash. NASDAQ's up 33. Russell's up 37. Crude oil's down. That's what I wanted to get to, too, because I sent the to somebody earlier, and I wanted to show everybody what the options look like in the energy sector. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hector asked at the end of the show, so I wasn't able to get to the, uh, what Conoco Phillips uh, options chart look like. And you're way, way, way out here on the uh, right hand side. I know energy's down today, but uh, this kind of gives an indication that you may get a little bit of a pullback. What you want to do is look at the hockey stick bins in these, and that would suggest somewhere between 85 and 90 is where Conoco Phillips is going to expire, or at least they're thinking about it. Now, again, uh, tomorrow is Delta Neutral Day. We'll see a lot more, uh, but it's down a, about a buck fifty. My guess is that it's probably going to pull back a little bit here. I don't think it's the end of the world. I mean, if you're along this thing at 55, uh, no reason to sell it, but because uh, I think it's going to 100. Uh, but certainly in the short term, uh, over the next week, week and a half, it's probably going to go back into the high 80s uh, out here, maybe 87, maybe close at 90 uh, on options expiration day. But it's going to probably be somewhere in that line. I'll update it um, on Thursday after we get the delta neutral data where this will change a little bit. But, uh, yeah, energy probably is kind of hit a short term top. Uh, but uh, don't look for a lot of pullback in that side of the market. Uh, other things going on. Let's uh, do a little history, and then we'll move on. But uh, eh, my thoughts pretty much for the day so far uh, as we go to history. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 2005, Google Maps is launched to the public. I never had to ask for directions again, but uh, eh, wasn't one to ask for them before. And, of course, uh, now part of our daily lives. And if that would be probably it, that would be the rest of the story. But one of the reasons why I didn't and still don't think a great deal about the uh, CEO from Apple is that he pushed to have his version of this come out. Uh, uh, Google Maps had at one time... 5,000 people working for it uh, outside doing the mapping and had uh, about 1,500 engineers writing the software for it. Uh, but in 2010, um, as he became CEO, 
uh, the current CEO of Apple, I mean, uh, he decided he wanted to have something to compete with them on uh, iOS, the Apple operating system for its phones. So uh, where they had it, you know, somewhere between six and seven, almost 8,000 people working on Google's Maps at the time, uh, he decided that he was going to appoint somebody and give them a whopping 110 people to do the same thing. Uh, it did come out in 2012, uh, after about two years later. Uh, the uh, head of the project told him it wasn't ready. They released it anyway. Then uh, the current CEO fired the gentleman for not doing it. I don't, uh, that always said something to me about the character of that CEO and one of the reasons why I kind of figured out that he was, for the most part, an empty suit. Give somebody an unwinnable job and then can them after they tell you that it's not ready, release it anyway, and then blame storm him all the way uh, until uh, he is run out of the co uh, company. But uh, I always thought that was interesting when it came out, of course, uh, Apple iOS maps would do all kinds of weird things, like they'd look like they were melting like an old movie. Things would move around on the maps. It was never anywhere close to being ready. And I always wondered why they did it and why they fired the guy uh, that was uh, supposed to do it and never gave him the resources. Uh, we know what it took, and it was a, an amazing amount of money uh, to put into something like Google Maps, but now they make it back every day. Uh, Waze is a little different. That just takes everybody's uh, data and maps uh, ways around traffic. Uh, but uh, that really just depends on you being able to give uh, data back to Waze. And it doing something called the, uh, the an ant, uh, I want to see what it's called. There's an algorithm, but it's uh, normally trying to find your way in an ant, ant colony kind of thing. And the, that kind of math goes back, I don't know, back to the 60s maybe, maybe even longer than that. But uh, eh, interesting. But ways, uh, just uh, taking uh, geodesic data, which is what it's called, by the way, and uh, allowing people to see who's moving where and fast. Of course, a lot of people, especially in California, are very mad at ways. Uh, because uh, it ends up putting a lot of people racing down back streets uh, in residential communities. But, uh, yeah, if you want to get around the traffic, especially if you live on the east side of Florida, I live on God's side of Florida, uh, which is on the west coast. 877-927-6648. Uh, uh, other things going on of interest, uh, we've got uh, Uber and Lyft. L-Y-F-T. Both of these companies have uh, options um, that maybe uh, they're more than 15 percent and maybe more like 20 percent uh, of an expected move. No one knows which way it's going either higher or lower. But um, I'm going to say that uh, everybody's expecting a massive move. And generally the thing that these stocks do when there's that much money on the table, is go nowhere, at least for a little while tomorrow. Uh, everybody's, this is kind of like the Super Bowl. Everybody's got their side and they're betting on it. Uh, let's take a quick look at Uber. But uh, it is tomorrow, right? I'm pretty sure it's tomorrow uh, to, for earnings, right? Is it after the bell? Or is it on Thursday? Is it tonight? Is it after the bell tonight? Yeah. Okay. After the bell tonight. And I guess next day or two for Lyft. But Uber's tonight, along with Disney. Haven't looked at them for a while. Disney not showing uh, quite <laughs> the same kind of range. Uh, in fact, this thing's really gone quiet. They could have a fairly massive surprise a la Netflix. The news just does not get any better for these folks in Hollywood. And that's expenses are up. Talent is up. Uh, even things like script prices are significantly higher to get anybody that can write 
you know, they'd almost hire me at this point. And, uh, of course, I famously wrote Dyslexia, A Cure for Found. But other than that, uh, not much going on out here in Disney. But uh, Uber, what does it say? L-Y-F-T. February 8th. Oh, tonight? 405. It's what I show for Lyft. Why does it not show up in my list of stuff? Well, I do not know. No, just Lyft. Or Uber. Now it's not showing Uber. We'll be back in a minute. fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFN and hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Are we still on? Yeah, that was quickly off. Uh, hopefully we're still on. Nope. Reconnecting. For network. Okay. Are we back on? Okay, we're on. This, uh, apparently, uh, apparently Skype is deciding to act rather uh, unwell today. So hopefully we're good. Anyway, uh, we wanted to go back on to the uh, TLT here. Um, I was looking for it to blow through the lows. Looks to me like it's not going to do that. Maybe it'll do it tomorrow. 
But certainly the door is open today now to 134.48. That's the low with uh, 20 million shares back on May 12th. We don't have a lot of juice yet, but I think anything more down here is going to open the floodgates of selling. Uh, as I said, I suspect we're going to run down, maybe try to consolidate a little bit around this 134 and a half, 135 area uh, as we get down there. And then eventually we're going to retest this 131.95. Uh, especially if you're new to the stock market and you haven't seen the bond market uh, be the, uh, the, uh, the equity market be the tail that's wagged by the dog. Uh, certainly, the it, at least... Um, the uh, equity market is one-tenth, or you could say the bond market is 10 times larger uh, in actual cash money uh, that we have. In fact, uh, in all the big pullbacks and uh, generally all the depressions uh, that we've ever had or the near depressions that we've had, uh, the bulk of the money has all been lost in REITs, and those REITs tend to have a lot of bonds in them. So that when housing goes uh, belly up, uh, those tend to be the ones uh, that literally go out of business. We saw that pretty horribly in 2008 and early nine, where uh, they had lots of insurance, but their insurance companies weren't worth crap when it came to, uh, to uh, backing up all these. And they just all circled the drain uh, like a double flush. So keep an eye on that. But uh, it's very tough to have an up market with a down uh, market in the bonds, or at least as the way they're shown in the TLT. Yields high, uh, rise, uh, prices fall, prices rise, yields fall. Uh, always enough to give anyone a headache. 877-927-6648. We got uh, some other stuff going on here. Let's see here, because I know we got some emails. So let's see what else we have. Uh, yes, the, we've got a little bit of uh, meme stock stuff going on, uh, to, 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 and, but they're just spikes in a downtrend, I suspect. Uh, GameStop, a nice little pop in this one today. Um, generally, you get those right before the turn and shake everybody out. Again, nothing more than dead cat bounce on no volume for AMC. And uh, what else do we have? Uh, Peloton. Uh, Peloton does not have a lot of short interest right now. Everybody kind of got out uh, when the rumors of them getting bought out were coming. Uh, they do have a lot of interday shorts. Uh, they had about 35% uh, short sales yesterday. We don't know how many people covered those before the end of the day. If they smart, they did. Because, uh, again, we had another pop here. But this is, uh, this is one where people tend to short this thing in the morning and get run out fairly quickly. Uh, but yesterday, 30% uh, pretty much, uh, there had been some out here. You never know because you're always looking at least two weeks in the rearview mirror for the uh, data from uh, the, the uh, audited data from the exchanges on short sales. And that gives people that are really heavily shorted uh, about eh, five days or so had noticed to get out of these or go after them. So we're always a retail traders behind the, this fact. But uh, Peloton, yeah, it sounds to me like a lot of people got in back here at these lows. Going to spread some rumors around and uh, probably ran whatever shorts that were out, out. But uh, most of the people actually did get out of Peloton as a short before this bounce. Uh, it was much uh, more shorted uh, four weeks ago than it is today and not that much i think it's only got about i'm figuring maybe a day and a half or two days to cover so not that bad but what you do have is like this morning everybody probably piled in short and got ran out before the end of the day uh, okay yeah, that answers a couple of those questions uh what's going on with uh AMD and NVIDIA today. Semis had all been up a little bit, uh, but all you are up to for AMD is the um, kind of the downtrend line. 
You got up there today, volume is not all that exciting, 63 million shares. You had 81 million shares yesterday. Again, not one of the stocks I probably want to be short. If things do turn around, it probably will do much better. You know, let's take a quick look at NVIDIA and then the SMHs. Uh, NVIDIA, a little less so, really kind of sideways action on it. Uh, no big volume. Uh, the SMHs were up, uh, I don't know, three bucks or so earlier in the day. Um, you got kind of a nice candle out here. But again, there's not a lot of drive, and that probably that drive is going to come uh, tomorrow and Thursday. My guess is we're going to have a fairly big and wide day tomorrow. That does happen, as we said, at the top of the hour on uh, options expiration de delta neutral day. That's when uh, the market makers decide to hedge out their positions completely and hope that whatever happens just slowly burns down uh, to expiration and they get to keep all uh, whatever premiums are left in it, but they don't want to take any real uh, real problems on the other side of those. So, you know, if they're long some stock, then they'll short the other side of that. Or if they're, uh, you know, if they're on uh, puts on one side, then they'll go long the equity on the other. And they'll box in whatever profit they have. Now, that happens throughout the day. It's not like they come in and go, okay, at 2 o'clock we're going to do that. They kind of are almost automatically changing that with computers throughout the day to keep that uh keep that ratio correct and even through options expiration you'll get a little bit of that but what we do have is everybody going and doing that tomorrow almost every month uh, it is one of the uh, by average the one of the has the biggest trading range uh, of uh, of the month so it's pretty predictable and organic in the market but it comes down to just a math routine where they prove that uh, be in eight days before options expiration on the monthlies, you don't want to have any uh, exposure on the last seven days, so you get out on the the eighth before it. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Uh, da, 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 okay, what else we have here? Da, 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 okay. Uh, other things going on uh, in the market. I think we got some other things here. Okay. Uh, okay. Ronald wants to ask about the polar plunge. <laughs> uh, that's somebody in the den that uh, brings that up from time to time. But it's uh, I don't I, I don't put a lot of money into it. But certainly today. We have kind of come off those highs. We're back around 500. Uh, but like I said on Monday, uh, kind of a big stews fest. Starting tomorrow, though, I suspect business is going to pick up. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with a 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. in the den says uh m n d t is halted news so we'll see what's going on this this is the old fire eye uh and uh they had kind of the most interesting i thought security system uh but we're just never able to sell it i think mostly because they weren't the pick of wall street they never got the money to actually expand uh, as they should have uh, but maybe they're just a little bit, or maybe we're a little bit before their their time. Uh, other things going on in the market uh, t -t -t is Todd, who asked, uh, can you look at the Barba, uh, Baba, 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 Ran? Um, yeah, um, well, you're basically kind of in a trading range around I would say the center is probably close to 125 out here. Uh, is anything going to happen um, with it? I don't think there's a lot going on. I do know that if you read the uh, Chinese, the English uh, translations of the Chinese papers, which I do do, uh, there is a lot of flack coming their way from the chai comps. Uh, you know, in between uh, selling organs and uh, in in. Uh, uh, slave labor unions and and uh, committing genocide, the Chinese communists uh, uh, actually don't like uh, capitalism as much as they thought they did at one time. And these guys are still uh, got both barrels pointed at them uh, from uh, Alibaba uh, by from the Chinese communists. So I would still say it's fairly rare. I've said this before the Chinese stocks ever started to head lower and that was you don't want to be playing these things with anything other than options either up or down because you never know what those guys are going to say but you know, 100 bucks uh 120 bucks you almost got down to one what 110 108 low out here uh but uh, i don't think you want to be in these stocks uh kind of makes me think kind of the same thing uh with uh Bitcoin up at 50,000. Is this the uh, test of the top um, for the last time in those? Um, and we've pulled off that, and it's going to do nothing but sell lower. I don't know. You may get one more run at Bitcoin at 50,000, but since it's all pretty much run by uh, people that have no idea about what's going on, it could do anything. I kind of like more predictable stocks. Uh, than just madmen, but uh, that's it. Anyway, uh, we're only up 13 points now on the S&P cash, uh, but uh, not unsurprising, uh, as uh, we talked about on Monday, uh, that uh, the options really had collapsed on both sides. You kind of have to keep an eye on it, uh, but uh, not a lot of reasons to think that the market does a great deal before 
tomorrow. One of the downsides has been, of course, uh, that the selling at the very end of the day, which is if you get selling at the end of the day, almost always the big men of Wall Street. Uh, when you look at the dark pool numbers, those uh, on Wall Street that got swamped by retail traders over the last 30 days are not so now. This is the, the uh, Wall Street guy kind of back in control about that. 877-927-6648. Uh, I would love your phone call today. If not, just to break up the monotony. Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, Facebook uh, blew through the lows here, 217. Um, I don't know how long this uh, low this could go. I did get a question uh, during the break about uh, what did uh, Facebook actually do? And there is a long and sorted list. But probably the worst thing that, that uh, Facebook did was uh, people with uh, dissident opinions uh, were being doxxed and uh, their addresses being given out by the people that um, – control that data over there in Europe. And uh, a lot of people, I think, one of the reasons why uh, we see Peter Thiel leave the board on this one is he's just tired of trying to talk uh, Zuckerberg into something that isn't bat crap crazy. Uh, because uh, I don't know if he's just evil and mad or a combination of the two, but my guess is that he is going to have big problems in the future but yeah uh, 217 and meta you don't get a bounce in three days after a move down like that there is something extremely wrong in the stock uh, for Facebook Metamucil whatever you want to call it uh, da, 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 da. Uh, I thought well that's certainly the story that uh, they're saying that he's going to do that I don't think so I think uh, it has a lot more to do with uh, the fact that um, he gets paid like all of the guys on the board on options and uh, sees uh, uh, kind of a Zuckerberg thinking that uh, he's a kamikaze. Not a lot of future in that. So I don't think so. Uh, no, I don't think he's going to be part of the Trump thing. There's a lot of conspiracies. I would say it's just as true as the reason why the CNN uh, CEO left. That was, uh, you know, well, because of that. It wasn't. It was because he had 10% of the viewers he had a year ago. That's why. Almost nothing we hear in, in, uh, in, uh, in the news these days is reality. You always have to dig down. And uh, as Mark Twain said, uh, the truth uh, can, uh, the uh, lie can go around the world twice before the uh, truth comes out the front door. But, uh, yeah, it's the same thing. Uh, when I first heard that, I thought, okay, uh, that's always the same thing. I'm going to spend, you know, you hear it from the CEOs. I'm, I'm going to spend more time with my wife and my family. We owe it to them. You always know that's a lie. Uh, you always know that uh, since uh, somebody had an affair with, uh, for five years and everybody knew about it, suddenly it's the issue. No, it is an easy way to fire somebody. But the issue is not that. It's the fact you had 10% of the people watching you had a year ago. If anybody lost 90% of their business in a year, they'd be gone. Uh, it's a good way to get rid of them. So, no, I don't think uh, Thiel is that. Klaus Schwab, huh? Uh, he's an idiot. Anyway, just my thoughts. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. You got a lot of competition coming on in the social media sector in the near future, uh, and again, I think a lot of people going to figure out that they're on the wrong side of history in the very short term. And you know, it's the same thing. Uh, you see the, the what is the truth that you read about Canada, and what's going on up there, and you find out that it was a false flag thing. They threw a shirt on uh, and a flag on a on a uh, statue. And that's uh, de de uh, disgracing the statue. Well, it was uh, back to its old self in two minutes after they took the shirt off. But uh, now, there's a lot of reasons why no one can tell the truth, generally because uh, what they're doing is wrong. So, uh, yeah, I give it my hats off to the uh, folks in Canada, the nicest people in the world. And when you know when they're ticked off, there's something really to be ticked off about. 
We'll be back in a minute. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we come back, uh, yeah, one of the quotes I love of all time, uh, Otto B uh, von Bismarck, never believe anything until it's officially denied. Uh, yeah, you uh, that's uh, always what you have. And if you don't hear the denial, then probably it's not true. <laughs> it's probably true if it is denied. So and if it's not, eh, there's probably something digger to, bigger to dig down in there and figure out what's going on. 877-927-6648 if you can call in the next 10, 15 seconds. Um, yeah, we're just back here to 500. Um, wasn't expecting a lot of movement. Um, continue to watch uh, Facebook. If this thing just gaps away to the downside, uh, it could be rather horrible. You don't have a lot of volume today, uh, but uh, not problematic. But, uh, you know, we're at that point with the TLT. If that thing gaps down it's probably going to suck everything with it uh kind of like the end of the titanic where everybody gets sucked down uh when the ship sinks 
But, uh, you know, does it look all that bad on the TLT? Just looks like the trend line that can continue on to 134.48 and then maybe even lower. Uh, of course, the Fed will be out there a little bit. They're not quite done. They're not uh, totally dead. They're almost dead. They're mostly dead. Princess Bride uh, reference there. But uh, certainly, what, we're less than 30 days from the end of all Fed money going into the bond market. Yeah, I, it's hard for me to think that that holds up through that. So I'm just wondering where everybody decides to uh, – uh, they've got an organized uh, retreat. When does that turn into a stampede? Uh, I think that happens in the next big gap lower. We've had one gap. We've had a couple of smaller gaps. My guess is one big, get, uh, big gap down when we walk into the morning. That's going to tell us the jig is up. cast is die. So when you can, not when you have to. We will return tomorrow like Pat.